Welcome to this episode of Pokemon Fire Red. Now, I'm obviously in Victory Road. I don't like being in Victory Road. Victory Road scares me. So do very, very powerful trainers. So I'm going to walk around him. Because I'm a pussy. So, I can get Wild Cocooners at level 43. Hell, it can't fight back. Why not? If I caught it and leveled it up, it would immediately evolve, yeah. Into a level 43 B drill with probably no moves. Okay, how the hell did a Kakuna break out of a Pokeball? Can't move. I don't like the new design of Kakuna. I, I loved the design of Kakuna where it had the arms. Because then it would make sense that it can do things other than harden. Oh, for crying out loud, let me get away from the bloody thing. How can it stop me from escaping? It can't move! Pound. Pound is funnier. Harden, 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 pound. Pound, 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 pound. KO. Mm hmm. If anybody gets that joke, Please send a postcard to BBC Blue Peter. Okay, so you're actually only able to get one of these items until you come back. That is irritating, but I'll do it. I'm going to get another hound doom, aren't I? Camera upped. Not bad. Very high level, but I don't want one. At least I know this place is full of fire types. I haven't got one of those. I do need one. I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to go around the Pokemon trail. Oh, fuck it. Let's do it. I'm not going to be a wimp anymore. Whew. It's a girl. I lose to a girl. Oh, yeah. If I lose to a girl, I don't deserve to be a Pokemon trainer. I probably shouldn't say that, because that's the end of this series. If um, I lose to a girl and then I say, well, I don't deserve to be a Pokemon trainer, game over. Vader, please just kill things. Come on, Vader, let's kill stuff. Throw a ball of darkness at them. It doesn't affect Pokemon like Persian. Crap. Let's use your dragon moves then. Because you have got thunder. But that's very inaccurate. Trainers with hyper potions. Yes. My goal in this episode is to get some Moltres and find out what it is. Then I'll um, probably get to the end of the episode by that point. At that point, and uh, then I'm going to leave it. My next episode will probably be sped up. I haven't made my mind up yet though. I've got some time to think about it. Uh, I want you guys to uh, let me know though, are you enjoying the Tom's chat room series? Because I've done a couple of them now and they're all, uh, there's a couple of them out, you know. I think they're brilliant and I want you guys to let me know what you think. This guy's got all fire types. But I want you guys to sort of suggest ideas for content. I am in talks at the pres at present. You, you might have seen it by um, you. The that content might have been, might be out by the time you guys are watching this. But 
I even talked about doing some in-character interviews uh, with my mate James from Monster Madness Radio Network. Give him a look up. Give him a shout. Tell him Tom sent you. Uh, I am in talks with him about doing some stuff like that. Because I do, I really do want to try out doing the Jeremy Paxman style of interviewing. You know, just constantly asking the same question until I get an answer. If you guys don't get the Jeremy Paxman reference, look up Jeremy Paxman, Michael Carroll. Because that is a brilliant interview. He asks the same question 48 times until he gets an answer. Jeremy Paxman is a Don and Vader is almost dead because Vader took a kicking in that fight a Wobba Fett level 46 not bad it's going to defend it's going to block everything I do though it's got shadow tag oh god now I've got to fight or kill the thing haven't I Okay, fine. Sabrina. It's got shadow tag. I can't even switch. Christ. Um. Boomerang then. Wobba Fett is an absolute defensive beast. And it's got loads of like. Reverse moves and stuff like that. Counter. Miracle. But the thing with Wobba Fett. Wobba Fett is I've, I've got to kill it. Because I can't. I can't swap my team members because of its um because of its shadow tag. I am gonna, I am, I suppose, gonna try and catch it then, since since I've got to fight the bloody thing anyway, and that's uh, my bone saw down. Go brutal! Get a team. That missed. Oh god, now I'm in trouble. It's got Destiny Bond on. Oh come on, Guillotine! Guillotines are awesome with Pincer. That's three attempts at guillotine. Come on. All it's got is defensive moves, so... Go off. I've got five attempts at guillotine, and all of them so far have missed. Oh, you absolute joke, guillotine. Guillotine's got five uses, and they all missed. Brick break. God, what effects are annoying? Revenge. Scuff. No. Shadow attack, of course. I can't get Brutal out. Revenge, Brutal. Whatever you do, don't kill it. Not while you're under Destiny Bond. Frankly though, if I get the opportunity, I'm going to try and catch this fella. He's cut. God, Pincer really needs an evolved form, don't you think? Oh crap! 
I forgot about Destiny Bond. Boba Fett took Brutel down with it. Shit, I lost Brutel. That was dumb. Understatement of the bloody century there, son. Rare candy. That is going to be useful because I'm going to have to level something up. Eventually. Because I've just lost two of my team members. That's um, not positive, to say the least. Boba Fett is a beast. The wild Zapdos! Hello! How are you today? Uh, I'm not going to use Articuno on it though. Hell no. Sabrina, go. I'm taking you home with me if I get the chance, mate. You got Thunder Shock, nice. That hurts. Please don't do that again, Psychic. Good detect, not bad. You are coming home with me. If Psychic kills Sabrina, I'm going to cry. Oof. Oh man, the temptation to use that Master Ball, man. Just because I want this Zapdos. It's going to be so bloody useful against the... Um, the Elite Four person as well. You should cover. I wish I had a way of slowing it down. Psybeam. Oh, that wasn't supposed to be enough to kill it. Oh well. Article is trying to learn Mind Reader. Okay. Tell me more. The user predicts the foe's action to ensure its next attack hits. I don't need that, do I? I do want. I do wish I'd caught that bloody Zapdos though, because that would be my um, lower eye problem solved. November raid, really? Get me out of there. I should have gone down the other route to avoid this guy. Because I've lost two of my team members. I'm never in a good position. I'm not in a good position at the moment. To fight a trainer with five. He's got Eraticate. I'm going to let Artica take care of a lot of this though. With Fly. It's got Super Fang. Super Fang tends to be super effective against everything. These trainers are above my level to say the least. Get in the air, Artica. This is quite bloody scary. Hope he's got things that are easy to kill. I'm worried. He's got a Charizard. That is not one for you, Artica. That is one for Way Waymon. Even though he's a lot weaker, that's one he's got to try and do on his own.
Oh, come on, my man, you can do better than that. I'm fucked if Waymon dies, that's my last water type. Come on, Surf, critical hit the Charizard. Come on, Surf, critical hit. I should not be in this cave. We are not ready. Sabrina, it's on you. And I mean all of it is on you. You're literally the last one I've got. So we'll go with Psychic. I should put I could probably have set up Calm Mind, but I don't want to take the risk of giving him another free attack to kill her, possibly. Now I've got an even bigger problem because War Turtle is part dark. So Psychic's not gonna do all that much. Even though it won it KO'd him, I genuinely didn't think it would do that. There's a lot of weight going on you, Sabrina, at this point. Ivysaur shouldn't be a problem. You've won it killed a Venusaur before, you can one it kill an Ivysaur. He's got a Charizard and a Charmeleon. Dude, he robbed Professor Oak blind at the start of his journey. He took all three starters and a spare Charmander for good luck. Yeah, we are not in look we are not in a good way right now. But the thing with me is I never stop. I could have sworn Moltres used to be around here. Yeah, but not in fire where he's not. Where is he then? On the island on one of the islands. Island fire. Oh right, okay, apparently apparently Moltres isn't even here. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here then. I genuinely forgot what what version I was playing for a moment there. According to my um my ever knowledgeable little brother, Moltres isn't even here! Shell gone! Oh, 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 I've got to, I've got to, I've got to try. I've got to try. Use Powder Snow, Artica. Don't die, Artica. Good one. Come on, Shell gone. Come with me. Come on! Come on! Oh fuck! Come on, shell gun! Artica, get out of there! Can you can you handle the heat for a little bit, Sabrina? I need that shell gun. It's the team member we're missing. Well, one of them. For those of you that don't know why I'm so excited to see a shell gun, does anybody remember our Bagon that we named Kilgara? It died. Well, Bagon evolves into shell gun, so we can do it again. But I need to ask my brother a question. What was the white dragon called in Merlin? Say again. Because that's going to be what that's going to be the nickname of my um, shell gun. 
Spell it. A pizza, apparently, he said. So. So, we're going to have our dragon, finally. I might just name it Kilgara too, but it's a girl, so I can't soil the name of a Kilgara on a girl, can I? So, Artica, get us out of here. That was the biggest mistake I've ever made, don't you think, boys and girls? So, what am I going to do next time? Not that! Clearly. I wasn't ready for Mount Moon, I didn't think so either. I'm only ten I mean I've still got ten minutes to fill the episode though. Shall we go back? No. That would be dumb, wouldn't it? I don't know what the hell we're gonna do. We've we've gotta go back, really, uh We've got two to, two Pokemon to lay to rest anyway. Bone saw. And and Boutel. Seriously, look at look at our dead box. Our dead box is like a who's who in Pokemon. Do you remember? Oh, does anybody remember Mantar, our Don fan? What a powerhouse he was back in the day, man. Oh, he was such a powerhouse. Obviously, guys, um, we got Miyagi, Shocker, Seal. Seal died before he even got a nickname. Star Killer, our Umbreon. <laughs> Our two, our two, our two electric types: Electro, the Pikachu, and Shockster, the Raichu. It's time for a new team member, though. We could use Shelder. What I am going to do, though, is take its item away. In a minute. Where is it? Where's the one I want? There's our Shell gone, a Pisa. We've still got a, a gap in our team, though. But that's a problem. That's for whatever that, uh, whatever the legendary is. But I don't think we can get it. So I suppose, guys, for the last ten minutes of the episode, we'll go and visit the islands if we can. See what we can do over there. We're going to see what we can do on the islands. Maybe we'll catch something awesome over on the islands. How about it? It's not like we can do much else. I'm not going to do. I'm not going to tackle. I'm, there's no way we're ready to tackle Mount Moon. No bloody way. Vader got. Vader almost got slaughtered. Sabrina nearly did. We lost two members of our team. We're using a bloody Waymon to surf. Artica got some levels, but still. I might be able to take fly off Artica soon because when um, Shellgun evolves and it's not all that far away from it I don't think what moves has it got anyway uh, it's it's single dragon it's got focus it's got focus energy ember protect and headbutt at the moment it's really really shit but it, it does obviously evolve into a Salamence Which of course is awesome. Why did I just fly to Cinnabar? To get you've got to go to Vermilion to get the ferry, haven't you? I suppose I just like the music. Let's go to Vermilion. Head to the Orange Islands for a bit. Oh, 
Oh, the music! The music of the original of these Pokemon games is so good, man. Apart from Lavender Town music, that makes me want to kill children. It makes me want to kill people. Lavender Town music. Things people say in the background during recordings. They can't even be uttered in front of civil humanity. So I suppose I never actually did this. Can we surf from island to island? Or do we have to take the ferry boat thing? Well, there's a girl out here. It's a trainer. I'm beginning to get a sunburn. Good for you. Good for you. It's a swimmer called Abigail. She's got a Psyduck. It's level 35. Wow, yeah, we are supposed to come here now. These are the levels of Pokemon we should be fighting then to get ourselves ready. So I'm going to let our Shelgon do it. Let's use Headbutt. You really need to learn something useful, Shelgon. As in not Headbutt, because it doesn't do much, you know? I'm gonna switch you out. I'm gonna let go. I'm not gonna let Vader step in here. Of course, he's a Gengar, and she's using Psyduck. She's got a Psychic subtype. <laughs> Bit of overkill. Never hurt anyone, apart from the person I'm overkilling. That really hurt them. But then again, she got a Gold Duck. I think it still retains its psychic subtype, right? When it's Gold Duck. We'll soon find out if Shadow Ball blows its head off. Wow, it, survi it, su it survived the Shadow Ball. Not many things have survived one of Vader's Shadow Balls. So we'll use Shadow Punch to finish it off. Because a second attack isn't worth a Shadow Ball. I love how they go, oh, you're so awful because you just beat me in a Pokemon battle, but you challenged me to a Pokemon battle. What did you expect me to do? Intentionally lose to you because you're a girl. Hey, look, Metapods in the water. These Metapods floating down the water. Kind of weird to see. Oh, there's a Pokeball on that right there, but it's got it's got a rock, it's got rock smashable rocks, and I don't have rock smash. I probably should have by this point. A Paras level 36. That is a really strong Paras, but a Paras Act is not worth having. It's not not for me anyway. At least I don't think they're worth having. I don't want one. If you want one, that's your decision. Stop arguing. She's got four Pokemon and they're all weak. They're all in their mid-30s, though. I'll let Waymon have a go. Roll out. This will be the last battle, anyway. Yeah, Waymon's gonna die. Um, Sabrina, take care of things. Psychic. I kind of like it when they scatter payday and I pick up some free change, but... She's got four, if she's got four Meowths, then she's a pointless trainer. And I'm going to take advantage of that by setting up Calm Mind. I 
I'm gonna set up two calm mines. Now I'm gonna one it KO everything she's got. My physical defense is down, but my psychic, my uh, special attack is up. Mm -hmm. That was a mistake letting me get off two calm mines. She's got a Pikachu. Oh, she's one of those trainers then that's bogged down with really cute Pokemon that can't really fight. Yep, she's one of them. Ooh, Clefairy! It's a shame. I quite like Clefairy. But, needs must. I genuinely don't know what's on the islands. I, uh, I've never done the islands, so. Might as well use the repel. There's a lot of rock smash rocks. I take it I'm supposed to have rock smash at this point. I do like to walk around with a rappel on though because obviously then whatever contravenes rappel is worth catching. That's usually the rule. Okay, so there's rock smash rocks there, so I can't get past them. And I've got a double battle against two uh, people. So, a double battle against a Crushkin, Mick, and Kin. My Choke and Primate fighting types, yeah? Waymon, swap out. We'll swap out for Sabrina. Well, they're using fighting types, and I'll let um, you stay in there and protect. Because you really could do with the experience, Apisa. You will hit Sabrina, and Sabrina will kill you both. You keep protecting yourself, a pizza. Whatever that machoke is now gone. So, and turn by turn, Sabrina will kill all of your Pokemon. Wayman's up to twenty-seven. He needed that. Ooh. Psychic will take care of that prime out, no problemo whatsoever. And you get some of that experience, Apisa, for sitting in there. I wanted a double battle with these two guys, but I didn't time it right, did I? So I'm gonna have a one on one with Black Belt Shen. Black Belt Shay. I'm not even gonna use Psychic, I'm gonna use Psybeam. It'll be enough. Usually is. So I'm running a little long on this one, I felt like it. I think you guys deserved a bit more than, given that this episode was a whole lot of tosh really. I figure you guys deserve better, so I'm going to give you a longer episode today to make up for it. Because I'm all about make, paying my dues.
So I didn't even get to move before that tosser got to me. Now I'm bored of matchups. I hope he's got him a champ so I can make Rob Terry jokes. He's only got a match choke. He's only got 1990s Dwayne Johnson then. I do love how roided up Machamp looks. It's one of my favourite Pokemon for its design, that. That and the massive moustache on my female Alakazam. That's a highlight. So this is Light the Fire in Your Heart, Ember. Ember Spa. Okay. So what does Ember Spa do? I want to put Repel back on. Because I, if, if I'm going to get a Pokemon encounter, I want it to be a strong one. I'm going to use a rare candy on a pizza. Just because I've got it and I might as well. There's trainers in here, it looks like. How do I get into the spa then? Hot springs are so hot. The ember spa as well. I made it years ago. I, I booed the pool right out of a gigantic boulder by your hand. I was using this at the time, so I suppose. Oh, HMO6, we've got rock smash! Might as well use it. Who's going to learn it, though? Hang on, what's that little symbol? Oh, it's this gender symbol. Yeah, Artica doesn't have a gender, of course. Um, I'll teach Rock Smash to um, my dragon type for now. It can lose focus energy. It doesn't need it. Anyway, can we get into the water? Because then we could, that would heal us up, wouldn't it? No, we can't. It is therapeutic. Shame I can't do it. Let's continue on our merry way and get in the water. Surfing on my portable whale. Ooh, shouldn't have done that. I really haven't got anything to counter water types, but I'll just let Sabrina wipe them out. Ah, oh, Seedra. I want one of them. Because I've always wanted a Kingdra. Because that's again a Pokemon I've never, a type I've never run, you know. And I'm all about using Pokemon that Pokemon that I've never used before. That is definitely something I'm about. But this one's coming up on 10 minutes overrun, so I think a 10 minute overrun is sufficient to pay you guys back for all the bullshit I um, did in this episode. Uh, but I'll get to a decent ending point. I'll probably go 45 minutes, I think. Things are lagging a little. But I'm going to do a, um, a music dub episode. Oh, Mount Ember. So this is where I get... I might do an hour episode here. I'm going to get Articuno. Moltres, I mean. 
because Mount Ember. Do you know what, guys? I'm ending it off here. Mm -hmm. In the next episode, we're going to tackle Mount Ember. And we're going to go and get Moltres, or whatever replaces him. So in the next episode, guys, Mount Ember. See you then.